What up, y'all? Two Heady here, coming at you with a banger of a video today. Today, we're talking about the time where I took mushrooms and tripped on the first date with this chick. So, this was like my junior year of high school. Me and this chick were talking for a little bit, you know? And her and I clicked really well on, like, smoking, just tripping, stuff like that. It wasn't really a deep connection, but, you know, a little bit of attraction there. And one day, I was like, yo, like, do you want to go out? Like, we can go for a hike or something, smoke, have a good time. And she was like, yeah, I'm all for it. So I'm getting ready for this day. I'm packing up, grabbing everything, grab my jar, grab my grinder, grab my bowl. And I'm looking in my little de uh, drawer. I'm like, hmm, should I take these? I had a little bag of mushrooms. It was like a quarter, maybe a little more, maybe nine grams. I'm looking at it. I'm like, yeah, I should. Maybe she'll want them. Maybe, maybe she'll enjoy taking some mushrooms. Maybe a little bit. That's what was going through my head. So... I grab them, I take them, I'm like, yeah, this will be a great idea, smart. And I live like an hour away from where this chick lived, and it was like where my school was, but again, I lived like an hour away from my school, I lived in a very small state, and probably top five smallest states in the United States, but I get ready for my travels, I pack my bowl up and I get on my way. And I hit her up, I'm like, hey, like, I'm almost there, where'd you want to go? We both agreed on this little hiking trail that was right next to her house, like, two to three miles away from her house. And I was like, bet, that sounds great. So I go pick her up, and I take a cap or two, like, cap enough stem uh, of mushrooms before I pick her up, like, 20, 15 minutes before I uh, got to her house, like, when I texted her. And I get there, we, I pick her up, we drive to the hiking trail, and I drop the question on her. I was like, yo, like, I brought some mushrooms. Did you maybe want to trip a little bit, have a good time? She was like, honestly, I'm not feeling that. Like, mushrooms make me super anxious, and I don't think we'd have a great time, both of us tripping. I was like, oh, shit, okay. So I put them back in my bag, in my head, I'm like, oh, no, like... I'm not gonna have a good time. I ate probably like a gram and a half to two. Like they were big ass fucking mushies. I didn't weigh them out, but I took like a significant amount out of the bag. I just munched them, didn't give a fuck. But we start on this little hike and it was a really cool hike. So you'd walk up this river the whole time and you'd uh, go up to like three or four different waterfalls. It was like a three and a half mile hike. It was not long at all. So we start walking up, and I'm like starting to feel it, I'm feeling good, like everything's looking bright, and I'm just kind of have a perma smile the whole time. She's seeming to have be enjoying the time, having a great time, we're talking, chatting, I forgot what we were even talking about. And we get to like the first little pool that has a waterfall. And we go and take our shoes off and like just dip our feet in. There's like a little uh, rock dam that people set up just to make the pool a little deeper. It was like two and a half, three feet deep. So we went and sit on like one of the rocks and we start packing up a bowl and token, having a nice little conversation. And I swear, like af halfway after this bowl, I cough my lungs out and I just start looking around and the water just starts turning like vibrant purple, greenish blue. And I'm like, whoa okay this is getting crazy like this is looking great so i'm like having a great time just looking around i kind of forgot what she's saying and honestly this is where i think the shit started fucking up because i wasn't really paying attention to her i was just kind of in my own head but let's take a little break if y'all gonna smoke pack up a bowl grab your pen and let's get to it today we're smoking on some grape gas of course and Let's go. Cheers. Add a little bit of air on the top. Alright, let's get back to the story. So pretty much, I'm just faded at this point. That bowl hit me. I think it was some Gorilla Glue or something we were smoking on. We always just had Gorilla Glue, Purple Punch, fucking all the shit strains down from me and that no one wanted, pretty much. And we leave this pool. We get ready. We start walking up. 
and I probably started mouth breathing like a motherfucker, dude. Like, I was getting super sweaty after we left the pool because, you know, the water was nice and cold. So, you know, didn't really realize how hot it was out. And we start walking up to the second pool, which is like a mile away from this one. And the first one's like a mile up. So we're getting to like a little past halfway point. And we get to this pool, and this has a nice waterfall. It's like a five-foot waterfall, water coming down. There's just a big rock that goes out that you can sit on. I'm pretty sure people swim there. We didn't this day, but I'm sure a lot of people swim there. It's definitely deep enough. And I go stand over the edge of this and just look at the rapids, and I just start tripping out. Like, I just start feeling sick and woozy. I start swaying back and forth a little bit. We go and sit down. Got a little dab for y'all for 710. We got a pen, some dabs, load them up, get them ready. Waiting for this little cool down. Smoking on some ooh, Malibu Yoda. A little bit of some micro diamonds. Cat VR. Cheers. We go and sit down, have a talk, and like I drink some water and shit. I think we brought a granola bar. I munched on that a little bit, but I never really have a great, uh, great appetite, even when I'm only tripping a little bit. At this point, I'm tripping so not so hard, but hard enough where like I'm shaking a little bit, a little bit of anxiety, anxious, and definitely more vibrant colors. And me and this chick are just chilling, talking, and out of nowhere, she's just like, "Hey." Are you okay? Like, you good? And that's just what sent it, bro. Like, I just felt stick to my fucking stomach. I was done so. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm good. Like, maybe we should just get going back. So we get back to the car, and I'm sitting there for a little bit. Like, honestly, I don't know if I can drive right now. Like, I, I, I can't. It's like, okay, we, like, we can just sit here and chill. And I broke it to her. Like, I was like, yeah, I'm definitely tripping. Like, I ate some mushrooms. That's why I offered them to you. And I realized it wasn't a great idea. Oh, oh, excuse me. It wasn't a great, a great idea. She's like, yeah, okay, I understand. Obviously, she didn't, was not fucking with it. And I was like, would you want to drive? She's like, I don't even have my license. That probably wouldn't be a great idea. So I waited out a little bit just so like I get the enough confidence to start driving. It's like, okay, I think I'm chilling out now. I've calmed down. I think we can do it. So I drive her back to her house for a little bit. I was like, okay, here you go. It's like, you can stay here if you want for uh, like, if you need to wait out this trip. I'm like, nah, I'm good. I'm going to just go home. So I end up driving back and I end up driving to my homie's house because I was not making it all the way back to my house. My homie lived like 15 minutes from this chick, uh, this chick's place. I was like, yo, bro, like, I don't think I'm going to make it home, bro. I need to come crash here for a little bit. He's like, yo, you good? Like, what's up? It's like, yeah, I'm just tripping. I really shouldn't be driving right now. So I pull into his crib and he's like, yo, what's up? I dap him up. I bring the button stuff we have and we go down to his little basement and I explain to him the whole story. It's like, bro, you are so dumb. And I texted my mom a little bit after I was like, I I'm not going to be coming home tonight. She's like, oh, okay, that's fine. Like, hope you had a good time. Love you. Blah, blah, blah. She didn't really think anything of it, but, and I told my buddy, I still had the mushies. It's like, yo, that's awesome. I don't remember if he ate any that night, but I do remember eating a little bit more just to, like, keep the trip going, even it out a little bit, because now I'm just chilling, having a good time. But I hope y'all enjoyed. That's the story of the time where I tripped on a first date with that girl, and we definitely did not go on a second date. She was not fucking with me. She blocked me, like, a week after, and that was it. But hope y'all had a good day. If you enjoyed the story, like, subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next video.